a quick sketch of a rabbit. The monogram AD at the bottom left. A scratched surface of brush strokes seemingly hovering on top of a piece of fabric. Welcome to Contemporary Art Explained. Sigmar Polkus Dürer Rabbit from 1968. Born in 1941 in Ulst, East Germany, and passed away in 2010 in Cologne, Sigmar Polke has created a unique and complex body of works, including the Dürer Rabbit from 1968. His works have helped to define the art of the time. In the 1960s, he forged a new, unique vision of German art, which during the post-war years had been largely derivative of gestural abstraction. During this time, Polke began making his dot paintings, manually executed parodies of the Bende dot screens used by Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol. Although he shared visual strategies with the American pop artists, he was less concerned with appropriating the pictorial style of advertising than in depicting the desired objects of a consumer society. While at the Kunstakademie in Dusseldorf in 1963, Polka and fellow students, such as Konrad Luke and Gerhard Richter, consolidated their ideas of cultural criticism into a style they termed capitalist realism. The humorous and deliberately unskilled qualities of Polka's earliest works formalized the critique of both socialist realism and pop art. Polka was a true pioneer when it comes to the renewed interest in figuration alongside the re-embracement and acknowledgement of tradition and history, things that have been abolished throughout modern art. With the Dürer Rabbit, Polke effectuates an ingenious eclecticism by implementing Albrecht Dürer's hair and a monogram on a layer of abstract brush marks sitting on top of a mass-produced piece of fabric. This painting illustrates exactly what is happening at this very moment in time with postmodern painting. From a dialectic perspective, the German artist searches for a new synthesis of his day and age. He uses abstract brushstrokes, reminiscent to abstract expressionism, which was at that time seen as the pinnacle of advanced art and painting, a symbol for innovation and progress. But at the same time, he acknowledges our history and tradition by depicting Dürer's hair Polka's compatriot and arguably the most important painter of his home country, Germany. A third element and surface comes into play by using the mass-produced piece of fabric, referencing to consumer and popular culture, one of the key characteristics of postmodern art and of Polka's capitalist realism. Doing so, from a modernist point of view, the painting is relevant with its abstract surface. He is at the same time relevant in a contemporary context as a postmodern artist, referring to popular culture and the fading distinction between high and low art. And finally, he innovates by re-embracing his history and tradition. And this is just one of many examples why Sigmar Polke was called the alchemist of painting.